Not yet, but I ran across some renegades. Shit. Hang on. I'm on my way. Good. They're taken care of. Check the status of the squad downstairs. Yes, sir. Lieutenant, sir. Are the renegades outside? They won't bother you. You took them out? Who are you? Aiden. I got orders from Jack Matt. Well, fuck me. Let's look at what Santa's elves have brought us. Withdrawal? Now? This is some kind of fucking joke. Know how many men I lost to secure this miserable plot of land? Look, I don't, Lieutenant, but I have Five. other- Five of our very best. Bartez killed more virals than an entire unit. Sierra and Little Ron? They've been fighting at my side since before the fall. They gave their lives for that scrap of the city, and now what? I'm supposed to pull back? Listen, yeah, I'm just a messenger. Just calm down and talk. Oh, you don't think I'm calm, huh? I'm a fucking oasis of Zen. Nirvana fucking walking. Bartez's husband. How's he gonna keep calm, huh? When I leave her body on this godforsaken turf. Sierra and Brasco's mom? She's not gonna be calm to learn her boys died here in vain. What should I tell them? All this for nothing, just cause Matt signed the piece of paper and sent it to me? We do the real work out here, and it's nothing to Matt to take it all away with a smear of ink. Fucking total bullshit. I'm looking for access to the GRE database. I hear you know where I can do that. Yeah, I do. But why the fuck would I tell you under the circumstances? I got important, if idiotic, business to attend to. Get out of my sight. Okay, gentlemen. Gather the dog tags of the fallen. Fucking sucks. But an order's an order. Ro, wait. Luan, you come to piss me off too? You know me, Ro. Aiden and me both are laced, and you're gonna tell us. You wanna drag this out, or take care of it here and now? <laughs> Fuck. Why are you after the database? I've heard it was stored on servers in the Observatory Command Center. But that building was destroyed in the chemical attacks years ago. The bombings came one after the other, like we were the fucking Viet Cong. Nothing was left. Understand? Nada. If you want, check for yourselves. Gentlemen, we're going. Ugh! <sighs> 
What's next? Next? <laughs> Didn't you hear? That database sounds long gone. So much for discovering the mystery of our childhood. I'll go back to looking for the shits on my hit list, and you? You can enjoy life in the center. Maybe Rose wrong. Maybe something survived intact after all. The butcher dropped chemicals. The place was reduced to toxic rubble. Are you giving up? Are you deaf or dumb? Those chemical bombs destroyed everyone and everything they touched. <clears throat> this was a fucking waste of time. Frank was right. I am fucking naive. What's the deal with those renegades? Why did they attack the canteen? How would I know? Williams is a fucking lunatic, a butcher, and a murderer. He killed half the city with a chemical weapon strike. Now he's ordering his men to attack civilians. Right after Waltz turned on the power. Walt and that psychopath are buddies. I wouldn't be surprised if they planned that together as well. I'm going to the observatory. Then you're going alone. So, we're splitting up? All good things must come to an end. The butcher and the pricks from my list? They'll find this out soon enough. I'm going back to looking for them. You shouldn't stay here either. Aiden? I'm sorry you didn't find your sister. Yeah, thanks. You've always got Waltz. He probably knows what happened to her. If I find him, I'll let you know. Good luck, Gajo. Take care, Luan. Go. There's nothing more to say.
for punishing us. One day. Uh. left. Go on. Hey, Major Matt, Aiden here. Aiden, good to hear you, son. You said maybe you could help me out. I'd like to ask how. Not over the radio. Come to the ship, to the main HQ. I'll be there soon myself. All right. I 
And uh, what did they serve yesterday? Hog. Biomarker. Here. Report to Meyer in dispatch. The commander is on his way back from the field. Does Matt often go out on field missions? Used to be. He was hardly ever on the ship. Always in the field. Always helping. That's why I joined the Peacekeepers. But lately, Matt's been acting weird. I'm not sure what that's about. It's been this way since before Old Villador and the Renegade attack there. Now this bullshit with the withdrawal, I, I don't get it. Whatever's going on, I hope he addresses the men soon. Helps us understand this bullshit all. Hmm. He's probably got his reasons. Whatever they are, innocent people are gonna get killed. But go see Meyer. Thanks. That's all I got for you. Juan would rather enjoy his cabin part than take care of him. In a year, you'll be addressing me as Hey, where's dispatch? There! All right, men. We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast, and easy. Go, go, go! They've already attacked two of our camps. We'll do everything we can to arm you. If needed, we'll intervene. If you could intervene, why'd you leave in the first place? This is bullshit. Wasn't your father some famous war hero? I bet he's rolling over in his grave. Watch your mouth, civilian. Things are tough all over. You know that. Can I help you? Ah, you. I remember you from the canteen. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh... Maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. Uh, who's Missy? It's the name of the ship you're standing in. She played a key role during the revolution. Missy was meant to deliver drugs, masks, and other critical medical supplies, then return home. But by then, home was gone. Her crew had nowhere to go. And what about now? Now, she serves as PK headquarters. What did those survivors want? Talking about our little argument? They want what everyone wants. Safety. Which I understand. But we have to keep our eye on the bigger picture here. And it pisses me off when people mention my father. I, I don't mean to pry, but uh, what's the deal with your father? Ugh. This again? Since you're new here, I'll tell you the short version. Classic story. Saved a bunch of his fellow soldiers, some civilians, and got a medal. When was this? Long time ago. Back when people were only fighting each other, and not each other and infected at the same time. So is he why you joined the military? Pretty much. <laughs> he must have been very proud. Sure. Why not? Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Medic, hurry! Fuck, that's Major Matt. Medic, Something's hurry! happened. Make room! Clear the way! He's bleeding out! Oh, fuck. Oh Hater's in really bad shape. Save him. Take him to the infirmary! Don't Summon the medics! Away. We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. Better hope Ader survives. We lost too many people in Old Villador. Jack will can to find out who did this. I hope Ader survives. He's one of our most dedicated men. Aiden! Know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then, they passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador? It can't happen again. 
We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men, whatever they're planning. Okay, but over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? A long time ago, Waltz heard her. He took her free. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... that's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them, right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another, and another, until you get the answers you're looking for. Why are the former GRE in hiding? They're afraid of the wrath of the people. People angry because the GRE spread the infection. So it's true. The GRE brought in the virus. Who else? They say they performed experiments in their bases. They brought in containers from Haran. At night. In secret from the government. And then everything collapsed. In revenge, people captured the scientists and hanged them from lampposts. Killed the only people who had a chance of finding a cure. There is no cure, and there never will be, Aiden. That's GRE propaganda. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? It's electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. What, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the GRE doctors you need. I'll do my part. But what guarantee do I have that you'll help me after? You don't trust me, Aiden. I haven't been here that long, but I can already tell that kept promises are rare in this city. If we don't find any of the GRE scientists, I promise I'll get Waltz for you. You're working with Loan, which makes me think you're looking for him too. Okay, I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> you alright, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. I'm Jack. Okay. Jack? Hey, you seen the Quartermaster anywhere? Catch you stealing, you lose a hand, pal. No order without strict laws. Not much traffic today. Nobody's in a hurry in this kind of weather. What the hell? Did you give my razor to someone? And you, want to be sent back to the Outlands? Keep that biomarker in plain view. No, Stephen. No filthy herb brother will decide my husband's fate. Is that why you got a medical degree? To go running to quacks for magic cures? Listen, we don't have medicine. Herbs are our only chance. My husband has fought for you for years. You must get medicine for him, not some herbs that might poison. <sighs> Time to go, kids. How is he? Ator is strong, but he needs medicine. And that, unfortunately, we don't have. We did the best we could with what we have. After the chemical attack, some plants gained healing properties. They work like an antibiotic. But still, I, people here have strong opinions about healers, but you can hardly blame them. The folk healers give sound advice, but it can prove difficult to follow correctly. Misremember something, gather the wrong herb or use the wrong dosage, and instead of medicine, you administer poison. Which has happened plenty. Because if somebody messes up one of the steps of the recipe, it could kill him. 
Exactly. But it's enough to listen carefully to the healer's instructions and follow them. The herbalist I know, she's talented. She's Ator's only hope. Then what's his wife's problem? Superstitions die hard. Margaret has helped many people everywhere. Some just don't want to admit it. I I can help. You'd be doing us a big favor. What happened in old Velador is terrible. We've lost so many people. As far as I know, Ator is our only witness. So if he dies, we don't find out what happened there. Exactly. Right, where can I find this healer? On COVID Island. Don't worry. You can trust Margaret. It's an emergency. Somebody there? Who's there? I have a man in dire need of a healer. Shh. She's asleep. Will she be awake soon? It's an emergency. Margaret needs to rest. She's running herself into the ground because of those damned renegades. Okay, I understand. But this really is an emergency. Please wake her up. A man's life is in danger. It better be. If I find out he just has a hangover... I'll wake her up, but you'll still have to wait. I haven't seen you before. How'd you know where to find...